Speaking on the sidelines of the BRICS summit in China, Putin called for a diplomatic solution. He says ramping up military hysteria is senseless and could lead to a massive loss of life. He rejected the idea of imposing tougher sanctions on Pyongyang, calling them useless. Well, for more, let's cross to Julia Lyubova, who can join us live from Moscow. Hi, Julia. What is Putin actually suggesting here? Everyone has called for dialogue with Pyongyang, but it is not working. Does Russia have a better answer? Well, that's right. So Vladimir Putin said that imposing new, tougher sanctions on North Korea would be counterproductive. He also said that uh, threats of a military action in response to North Korea's test uh, could trigger a global catastrophe. And as you mentioned, Vladimir Putin was speaking in China after the BRICS summit uh, there. And he criticized uh, the U.S. diplomacy in the case and said that North Korea will not hold its missile testing program until it feels secure. Well, uh, Moscow does condemn North Korea's test, and Vladimir Putin called it a provocation from Pyongyang. And, but at the same time, he said that ramping up uh, military hysteria is no good. So is there anything North Korea could do that would finally prompt Moscow to say enough is enough? Well, the solution that Moscow suggests in this crisis is that Moscow is calling for denuclearization of the Korean Peninsula. Uh, Moscow calls for the United States and for South Korea to halt uh, their military exercises in the area. And uh, Moscow has now renewed its calls for talks with North Korea. Moscow says it wants to start negotiations with uh, Pyongyang. And uh, Moscow says that the United States and South Korea should halt its major uh, military games in exchange for North Korea halting its testing program. Well, Vladimir Putin referred to sanctions as a road to nowhere, but, and he said that uh, Russia is prepared to discuss some details around the issue, but Vladimir Putin didn't elaborate exactly what those details are.